Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. The Emirates awash with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. Watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well under normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we'd like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy we have already started here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very impressive. They're always likely to attract the most attention, of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal. He's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. For Pastathopoulos. Let's Maitland Niles. Mesut Ozil. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Matic gets it back. And the Herrera. Manchester United have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Looks to clip it forward. Beautifully done. There's the great lead! Goal! Arsenal take the lead! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Arsenal take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Kolasinac. Monreal goes looking. Ramsey. And here's Lacazette. Ozil plays it out to the flank. Over it comes. Lingard tries to clear. Ramsey battles to win it back. Has he found his man? Monreal. And here's Lacazette. And the weighted pass. 
And it's played forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. The referee's had a look, and he's played his whistle for half-time. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Arsenal leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. Arsenal carrying a one-goal lead. Monreal. Mesut Ozil. Kolasinac. That is terrific skill. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Lingard. Lingard. Ramsey. And the counter is on. Lacazette. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And it's Ramsey. Lingard. Rashford. Just brushed off the ball there. Granit Xhaka. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Maitland-Niles plays it forward. And that's been won straight back. Xhaka tries lifting it over. Arsenal are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And it's Lukaku. Ball through needs to be good here. It's gone a long way up and away. Manchester United are making a change now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Lovely feet. Only partially clear. Manchester United need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Aimed in towards the centre. Matic gets it back. And time is up. Arsenal hold on. It's a narrow sweep. Good luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. The final thoughts, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. Just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.